everyone, welcome to Little Donuts. Today I'm gonna be painting some uh, nice scenery of a whale, a sunset, and some water. But I want to tell you guys something. If you notice that you, if you think that these are old paints, like I use these paints like three or four times, they're actually not. I just bought them uh, yesterday, and um, I use them because I had to get them for like an art show. So I wanted to show you guys this. It wasn't like an art show, it was like a school art show. No, it wasn't an art show, like we had to learn art. We were learning art and I needed paints, any type of paints, but my dad bought this from Beth, mm, five below. So today I'm gonna be painting a scenery. So let's get started. So the simple things that you need are brushes. Look, they have glitter in them. I have green, blue, and purple as well. And guess what, I only have one red brush. And it's all wet. Uh, okay. And you're gonna need a pencil, some paints, and two cups of water. Uh, you don't. I. Uh, if you want to not like blend or like make the colors like really blendy, then you don't need two cups of water. So first, you're gonna take one of your brush. It has to be thick. Actually, first you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna sketch out your drawing. I'm gonna be drawing what I told you guys. So, I'm gonna use my pencil to draw it. The sun is a bit crooked, but that's okay. Now the whale is gonna be right here. Okay, this is gonna be like a cartoonish stuff, so. All right, so I'm gonna draw a teeny mini hole. Okay, I'm gonna wait, make some water. Coming from the hole, I'm gonna add little splashes drops. Okay, now I'm gonna start doing the next step. I'm gonna dab my brush with some water. I'm dabbing it, can't see the water. Well, it's not that important. But I only want this and the sky to be blended. I only want like the water to be blendish. I made a turtle painting and a flower one, but I can't show you guys, it's downstairs, so. But I'm gonna paint this all. We're gonna, we don't want to like use dirty paint water to paint like this, so that's why you need two cups. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna paint here. If some water drips on your paper, that's okay. It happened to my turtle one, I had to add touch-ups. It actually happened with the paint because of the water and I had to add touch-ups, but it, that was, that's okay. So, and if that happens to you, you can, you can just restart and paint over everything. Not like restart on a new canvas, I just painted over it all as much. Look at the sun, it looks a bit crooked, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take the yellow glitter brush. Glitter, I think you can see it on the camera close. It looks so weird up close, right? It looks like a striped snake with dots in it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna dip mine in the water that I'm gonna be using to the dirty water. Okay, which color do I want? I have to pick it fast. Okay, I want this color. This looks really fun. Look, see how they like, I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna dot, 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 dot. You see that color? It's just like spreading all over the paper. And after I did the turtle thing, it was like really powdery. So I'm gonna hang it on the wall so not, no one touches the dirty paint water. 
And if the water is too less, you can just take some water on your brush from the dirty paint water, only if it's your first color, and you can paint like this. Ah, blue fell on the sky, but it's okay. I can paint over it with another color. The sky is actually not going to be blue. Like I said, it's the sunset, so. Okay, I'm going to take some more. I'm gonna add some blobs. I'm gonna take some from my normal paint water that's not gonna be dirty after I'm done. Look, a little drop fell. And uh, again, you guys, next one, guess what my next video is gonna be? I'm gonna give one hint. It's two hints, actually, it's kind of like two. It's gonna be an unboxing one, and I already opened it four times. I mean, three times, but two of them I opened in the same video. Can you guess it? I'm going to tell you the guess in the next video. Okay, let's continue painting. If your water is like running out, you can take your old the brush that you used to add the water on the paint place, like wherever you painted. You could add it like that. It dropped everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna get some. You know what, yesterday I went to school and I had an art class, and that art class we had, were painting some things. I wasn't in the same school last year because I, you know guys, I like moved, so I was in the school, but last year, whoever was in school, they um, made rocks, and then to, uh, to yesterday we decorated the rocks. I made a rainbow. I love rainbows. Ugh. I love rainbows because like um, rainbows are really, really rare. And whenever people make rainbows, they mostly sometimes add unicorns. And of course, Lee, everyone knows that I like unicorns. <sighs> well, if you don't know that, um, I actually like unicorns. Okay, I'm gonna paint with water. It has to be like kind of thick not so thick otherwise your candles will get all soft up it has to be a bit thick at least to like let your paint spread out and one thing is yeah if your paint is thick you even you still have to like it go on it quickly i'm like dropping and dropping and dropping water okay, let's keep adding water keep adding so good thing this paint kind of like dries a bit fastly because I actually have to draw the reflection of the sun in the water. I'm gonna try my best to do it. Okay, gonna go like this. Okay, now the, this paint is still drying up, so I'm gonna be painting the wheel now. I'm gonna use my normal paint. I'm gonna paint her. It's actually her if you're wondering if it's a boy or a girl. Next time I'll do a hand. <laughs> Even though this is a cartoony thing, um, it's not going to be pink like some whales are pink in Hatchimals. Some whales are pink or in other stuff. Okay. After the whale, I'm going to add the reflection or maybe paint up the sky. Okay, better go really careful around her eyes. So careful, careful are going to be. Or maybe carefuler than, um, I'm still thinking, what can I be carefuler than? Uh, a sewer, yeah. A sewer, he doesn't want to, if he, like, stitches beads to the dress, he doesn't want to, like, drop any beads or glue in the dress, so he's, I'm going to be carefuler as a sewer. 
like like the brush is supposed to be like yellow. It's uh, but it's green now because I used blue. Okay, now I'm gonna get some darker blue color. This one. Oh, not coming. I don't have enough water. I'm just gonna do a small dab. Voila, all the water's here. It's like a deeper blue color. It's not darker. It's just like a different shade. I don't want any like water in the palette. Then it will be the real shade that you want it to be. If you, the palette, like sometimes when you wet your brush and dip it in the paint, sometimes the palette is a bit wet and the paint is all foggy with water. I don't want that to happen to me, so I'm using the paint like a bit different. Okay, I'm gonna take another dark color, pick it like, oh, blue fill on the purpley blue. It's indigo, I think. This one. Or what color is it? What color is it? I'm gonna test it in the water. I'll just test it in the sky. Oh, it's like a violet color. Some bluish purple color. Oh, okay. Yeah, this color is like really dark. I forgot to bring a tissue paper. Well, I can get toilet paper, but no. Oh, uh, it's okay. Oh, I have to clean all this up with my fingers. All right, now it's time to paint up the scun. Scun? I almost said scun. Well, I did say scun, actually. But I'm gonna dab it into this beautiful yellow. Really beautiful. I want you guys to see the color of this beautiful yellow. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. You ready? Whoa. It's like so thick. I only got like a little bit of paint on my paintbrush and like, Oh, it's so thick. And I used this paint last time. I didn't use any other yellow color because this color is so good. Still so obsessed with this yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna take some orange. Go for the this orange, the dark orange, and then I'm gonna go to a teeny bit lighter orange. Okay, let's go. I don't have any water for the paint, like I didn't even dip it in water. So that's why it's gonna look thicker and thicker every time. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in water now. I'm gonna get this color a bit more like going down. Gonna stop at a certain spot. Eh. I forgot to beat up here. Okay, let's go carefully. Eager. Careful, careful. Okay. Still have to go really careful. Okay, got a straight line. Now I'm gonna continue painting the rest of my paint. I'm gonna finish all the paint I have in this video. Just kidding. I'm gonna paint, paint, paint. Guys, if you, I have a, to show you a technique. If you want like sprinkles of paint everywhere, you gotta like keep your finger at top. Get, see the sprinkles? Well, the sprinkles are going to be painted away. Okay. Now I'm going to go to a light orange this color. Is it the same? It looks like the same. Oh, it totally the same color. Look how similar they look. Well, it's going to look a teeny bit lighter. Okay. okay. 
what do blue and orange make? Uh, let's, I'm going to find out later. Not now, on the canvas. I'm definitely not going to do it now. I don't want this paint to get ruined. Okay, I'm going to paint. I painted over. Well, blue and orange are making a weird color. Okay, blue and orange are kind of making a greenish color. Okay, we get some. Okay. Oh, it looks so similar. Okay, now I'm gonna get some normal water. It's gonna be for blending. I blend in. Okay, I'm gonna get this paintbrush with a bit of the like sameish colors. Now I'm going to blend it in a bit, touch a bit, a touch, a bit, a touch. Okay, it's going to be a bit like a orangey blend. Then I'm going to take it and blend it with yellow. I'm going to cut the next color. Okay. Uh, all right, it's a bit blendy. Now it's time to get some yellow. Uh, I have to use another color yellow. How sad. But I still have to add touch up stuff since the blue paint all got mixed. Uh, and I also need to make it nice and gold. I got to call this the golden satisfaction. It's so good and satisfying. This feels so good to paint. Okay. Now I'm gonna get yellow. Another color that I used. I hope this is also good. Oh, this is also a nice color. But it's not so bold. But it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get more of it. I forgot that I have to paint yellow on the bottom where I tested out the this color. Where is that color? This one, I think. I forgot I had to put yellow there where I tested it. Okay, gonna drop a little bit of water. Okay, I should be really careful not to make it like, if I paint anything that's a bit thickish, I should like paint it and make it a bit thin because I don't want anything to drip down. Let's see if anything's dripping down right now. The yellow paint is dripping, I can drop. Oh, the orange paint is dripping. It's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping. Okay, I'm gonna paint here. The orange, okay. That saved it. The yellow saved the orange. Um, the yellow saved the paper, maybe. Or the canvas. Okay. It's almost done. Just a bit. A little blend. And then, finished. Paint. Okay, I'm gonna get some more for here. I think I can hear the garbage truck. Or maybe it's a microwave. Maybe dad's making something. Ugh, I'm gonna now blend in the colors. Mm. Gonna get a little of yellow mixed with a bit of light orange. Okay. Let's add that color here. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this water. Now it's gonna make the color go a little bit. Now the color's turning green. A little more blending all the way to the end. Need some water so it's not so like uh, thick, like it has to be a bit thinner. We don't want it to be too thick or too thin. We want it to be just right. Okay, keep painting. I don't want it to be too, too thick now. Okay, this thing, it needs a bit more painting. Let me get some orange. Let's get some water. Let's paint it. Okay, now after this, I'm gonna de see the taste. Um, or what test? Oh, dripping, 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 dripping. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna drop everything. Okay. I'm gonna get get some dry yellow and I'm gonna paint all over it. Please say it won't drip, please say it won't drip. Oh, I have to spread it all over the page. So you can't see the canvas. Maybe you can see um, a bit of the canvas, but you can't see all of it. It's gonna drip. Okay, do I have a tissue or something? I have a teeny bit of aluminum foil right next to me. Oh, I'm gonna try to use that. It's stopping. I know that's gonna even tear the thing more. Hello. Uh, maybe. Okay, I have to use my fingers. Uh, oh, don't worry, I have a tissue. Don't worry, I can just wipe it to the aluminum foil. Okay. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, 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 baby.